Hey guys, welcome to a new sewing video. I am going to make another dress today and for a while now I have really wanted to make myself a nice wrap dress. One of my favorite dresses that I own is a wrap dress. Two actually of my favorite dresses are wrap dresses. I think it is just a cut that is very flattering on my body shape and wrap dresses are just really easy comfortable to wear so i want to make one today we're going indie today guys i don't think i've done that before on this channel i have used one pdf printed indie pattern before when making my wedding dress and i didn't actually end up using it i went for the designer stitch pippa dress which is a lovely lovely wrap dress three different lengths so you can choose either a peplum top or a knee length dress or a T length dress. And then it has butterfly sleeves, which is perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. I thought this might be more economical than purchasing a pattern, but I'm not so sure now. I just need to cut all of these out, stick them together, see how many pattern pieces I have, and then hope that they fit onto the fabric I have chosen. I would love to make my dress out of this beautiful cotton that I have here. Just a lovely blue cotton with white and yellow flowers. I think this would be perfect for it, but I only have two meters of it. And on the pattern, it says you need four. So I think that's not gonna work probably because of the fullness of the skirt. I also have this light blue cotton of which I have a little bit more. Still, I don't think I have four meters. I think I have three of this, but that might work. <laughs> One of these two, I hope the pattern will fit onto. First step is to lay out all of these pieces tape them together and cut out my pattern pieces. I was in fact able to cut all of my pattern pieces out of half of the recommended amount of fabric, but this is great. I even have a little bit left over and I was even able to actually make my bias tape, which I didn't expect. I thought I would have to use something else, but here it is. I did have to trim down the skirt length from the T length to knee length, but it's still long enough and I think it's gonna look great. And at least this way I was able to cut it out of the beautiful floral fabric. So I have my pattern pieces here and I am ready to start assembly. And for that, I'm gonna start with the back pieces, uh, make the darts, do some stay stitching. And then I think I'm just gonna start sewing everything together. Thank you. 
Alrighty, here is what we've got so far and I must say I really, really like where this is going. It looks fantastic right now, very crisp. I am very pleased with the insides as well, let me show you. I did French seams all over, so everything is neatly finished. I bound the outside here, the neckline with that bias binding. It looks really good. I'm very, very happy with this. I can't wait to see how it turns out in the end. So next step is to start working on the sleeves. So I'm gonna start by ease stitching those and then setting them in. We just need the skirt and the ties to tie it here at the side. And that's gonna be the dress already done, I think. I feel like this is another fairly quick project. Maybe I'm just getting faster with sewing. I'm just realizing that. <laughs> Sleeve time! Confession time. So I um, ran out of printing paper <laughs> and also just didn't really feel like printing out 56 sheets of paper. So I decided to only print out the front skirt pattern and not the back skirt pattern. I did check and they looked absolutely identical in the little diagram, but I guess they're not because I cut out the back skirt by simply placing the front skirt on the fold and it is very large so if i line up the side seams yeah i think one side seam aligns to maybe half of the skirt <laughs> so i have quite a bit of room left in the back here and i think in order to remedy that i am just going to repeat the pleat pattern that i use in the front here um, on the bottom here. I have that on a pattern. So I think I'm just going to do that in the back until it is, um, you know, the right size that I can actually attach it to the bodice. But yeah, the skirt in general is looking great. Very happy with it. Once again, it is all French seamed. So I'm just going to do those pleats and um, hope that works, but it should. Hopefully it's, you know, it won't look weird when there's only pleats on the butts and nowhere else. <laughs> It is finished! Here is the final product, my first rep dress. 
I am so happy with it. I think this is absolutely adorable. I love everything from the fabric to the cut, the pattern, the way it came out. I think I did a pretty neat job with this. The inside looks amazing. All the seams are finished. I'm thinking I probably should start finishing all my seams because I just, I just love that. Feels like a very durable garment now that's going to actually last me for a long time um, which unfinished seams don't really help with that i absolutely love it one little thing i still have to do is to attach the other side of the skirt on the inside here the other side of the wrap so that it doesn't you know peek out from under here um, but that's a quick easy fix with just a little snap button but other than that it is all done i actually also really like how this came out obviously it's you know a quick fix but i think it looks actually good it adds a little bit of visual interest to an otherwise fairly simple cut i also really love the sleeves and just everything about this dress i can see myself wearing this loads when summer comes around the only thing is i do wish i could have done the longer length because you can just about see my knees and i just i prefer a little bit of a longer length but then again you know for a summer dress i think it looks nice i do think that the longer length makes it look a little bit less plain and casual and modern maybe um gives off a bit more of a vintage vibe but this is fine as well and i can always add a strip of fabric down the bottom, maybe a contrasting fabric, um, the yellow that's in the flowers, or maybe a lace or something. But you know, I'll cross that bridge when I get there, if I ever do. You guys were right, indie patterns are better. Also in the sizing and just everything. I love that this didn't come with a ton of ease. I didn't really have to alter anything. No, not at all actually, besides this, but that was my own mistake. Definitely, if you haven't tried indie patterns yet, um, just like, you know, online small pattern companies, definitely give it a try. But I think this is where I leave you with my finished wrap dress <laughs> that I am definitely going to be wearing a lot this summer. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more beauty, fashion, lifestyle and sewing content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you very soon in my next video.